God so loved the world. And I'm glad about that today. And every day.
I want you to know, yeah, there were three wise kings led by the eastern star to find <laughs> Jesus born in a stable. Only manger, because there was no place for him in the ends. Uh, I just want to know, uh, is there any place for him in the end on today? In the ends of your hearts, is there any place for him to be birthed inside of you? Because God has a gift, and that gift was Jesus the Christ. I want you to know that the gift uh, uh, was there to release us from the bondage of sin. The gift was there to elevate us in right relationship back with God. The gift was sent to set us free from, from the evils of this world. The gift was uh, uh, to allow us to e e e an eternal place in God's kingdom. Amen. I tell you, there's no greater gift than receiving Amen. the gift Amen. of Jesus the Christ. I Amen. know somebody else is sitting out there, oh, he is and he dead, but he is all to me. Amen. Christ is all yeah. to me. Amen. I don't care what the world might say and what the world might do. They can search out on the hill, but I know he right here inside of me. Thank God for Jesus on today. Because if it had not been for Jesus, yes. where would we be? Y'all yes. looking mighty beautiful this morning. Amen. I look over here, I see Sister Jane's over here. She looking mighty nice this morning. Amen. Yeah, y'all looking mighty nice this morning. I see some of you looking mighty, all of you looking mighty nice this morning. God made a way out of the way. Amen. So that you can sit up in here this morning. Amen. Amen. And let your light so shine. Because we can see God upon your life. You ain't looking nice just because you were born. God made you look the way you are. You look good to me. I don't care how other folks see you, but you look good to God too. Because all that He made, if you don't even go back and read Genesis, all He made creation, He said, all that He made was good. The deal. That God sent for us. In the Christmas story that we are celebrating on this morning, the gift was sent that we can make our way through life. It didn't say that we won't have no problems, no trials, no tribulations, no burdens to carry on the way. But the gift made us free. Yes. That whatever burden that we might be toting on the inside, it made us free to celebrate. The gift Amen. of eternal life. Amen. The gift of Jesus the Christ. Amen. It made us free. Amen. So the writer here in St. John records here, Jesus saying, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that cometh not by the door unto the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Come on, man. Come on. Amen. Amen. All my brothers and sisters up here to proclaim that even when we we are serving and we are worshiping Christ through our Father, we must acknowledge that He is the only way. Amen. It ain't the Baptist way. It ain't the hopeless way. It ain't the Methodist way. It ain't the non-denominational way. It ain't the Hindu way, it ain't the Muslim way, but it's Jesus' way. He is the only way that we can make it into the sheepfold. We can go and pay our tithes and we can join whatever church we want and not know Jesus and not be in the sheepfold. We're just a member of a church who might as well go on and join some social group and have a good time. We got to know Jesus. Yeah. We making it plain here. I know it's Christmas time, y'all looking for the, the, the Eastern Star and the three wise men. So a lot of wise men sitting up in here, but do you know Jesus? Amen. So he's making it plain that you're a thief and a robber if you come any other way. Alright. He says here in verse 2, he says, But he that come, he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, a body was fashioned for Jesus. Yeah, we don't know where we come from. Amen. When you were born, you said, I know my mom and daddy, but where you come from before me? You 
came from God. Your spirit came from God. Amen. That was a body fashion from you. Uh -huh. You don't know where you come from. We only know in Paul. Amen. But Jesus knew where he came from. Amen. He came from love. Yeah. Right. The only begotten son. John 3 tells us that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So we know where he came from. He knew where he came from. He had a job to do. We don't know. We're still searching. 30, 40, 50, 60. I'll so sing that song. 70, 80, 90. Still looking for what job God wants us to do. But Jesus knew what job he had to come and do. And he did it well. Two places in the Bible that I read where it says that this is my beloved son, whom I well please. And then in another place, he said, this is my beloved son, whom I well please. Hear ye him. God sent him to do a job. We still upon him. What is our job? He told you. Pick up your cross and follow me daily. That's your job. Amen. Anything else is an add-on. So, so then he says, To him the porter opens, and the sheep hear his voice. Y'all hear that? Hey, y'all hear me now. <laughs> Let me see something. See, because somebody ain't hearing from God. It's everything yeah. by our lifestyle. Right. Okay. What right. stuff about the stuff that we get ourselves into? God hasn't failed. You just didn't hear him. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't answer your prayer. You just didn't hear him when he answered. Yeah. Because you was too busy talking. Yeah. Somebody looking for a mic now. <laughs> so that they can talk. Yeah. God don't need no mic. Yeah. You his mic. When he talks to you, yeah. the word hears it through your life. Yeah. When, when, when I look upon you, I hear God's voice yeah. upon your life. Y'all, 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 See, we must understand that every we do, everything that we do, we do it as unto the Lord. That's what the scripture says. Huh? Yeah. Jesus came to save the world, but he did as unto the Lord because the Lord sent him to do the job. Amen. Yes, he did. And he did a great job. Yes, he, did. he did a job that nobody else was equipped to do. None of the angels, none of the several beings, none of us was equipped to do the job that Jesus did. But God saw him to send his son. He had to give his life for the sins of the world. What are we doing? What are we doing? We sitting around wrapping gifts. I hope they give me something like I gave them. I spent a lot of money on this. What is Christ? Thought about it like that. I gave a life. I want their life. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on. Y'all yeah. sitting around accepting the gift, but you ain't trying to get nothing back. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. I knew it was going to get quiet. Come on. Come on. You see, when you hear the voice of the Lord, you begin to do the things of the Lord. Amen. See, when I don't know, maybe y'all grew up different than I grew up. But when the alarm clock went off in the morning time, and I heard my daddy, that room was adjacent to my house, was right behind mine, there was a door there. I never could figure out why that old house had a door right there between two bedrooms. But he would knock on the door, boom, 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 boom. And I laid there for a few more minutes. Then he would knock on the door, boom, 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 boom. Then I'm going to He said, get up, boy. <laughs> See, I knew it was time to get up then. <laughs> See, we heard it. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. But we ain't moved. All right. 
We heard it all through all our lives. But we ain't moving. See, I had to learn that after the second boom, 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 boom. He didn't hear that stirring in the room. After a while, I heard some footsteps coming down the hallway. Had a bell trying to get me the gift. I got to the point where I didn't want that gift. So I moved when I heard the boom, 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 boom. See, the Holy Spirit is steady the boom, 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 boom. In your life, trying to make you move because you didn't receive the gift. You didn't receive the blessing of God. But you still won't move. I'm going to move on. Reverend Tim Bates says, it's only your belly. See, some, everybody don't hear the voice of the Lord. Uh, we have a lot of preachers. We have a lot of teachers. We have a, a lot of ministers that have. God hasn't called them. He hasn't sent them. They went by themselves. And they don't hear the voice of the Lord. And they preaching and teaching and doing different things on their own. I was preaching out of their own heart. That's what the, what the Old Testament talks about. How we preach out of our own New Testament talks about how we preach out of our own heart. God ain't told us nothing. You have a will and you have a way that, 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 that is unto the world. And you have a will and a way that is unto God. We have to distinguish our wills. Because our flesh wills us to the way of the world. Our spirit wills us to the will of God. Why? Because the spirit comes from God. God sent the Holy Spirit to help our spirits out. To give us power over our flesh. The Bible tells us that Jesus was tried by every hand. Ah, he was given the sheepfold. So now that he is the shepherd, he can open up the door and the sheep stands attention and they look when God is moving or when Christ is moving. They, they hear his voice when he, when he calls and tells and begs under them to do something. But there's something. Y'all don't hear something. Come on. They can't hear nothing. Well, all right. Because they haven't received the gift. Amen. All they hear is a little squeaking in the background. Jesus is steadily talking and trying to get you to turn and come. Truly, we're living in a time that we all need to turn to God and draw a little bit nigh to Him. Get closer to Him. Jesus is not the little baby sleeping in the manger. Jesus is not the little baby that you have to change his diapers. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Jesus is our Messiah. Jesus is the Christ that came to deliver us under God. The word says here, y'all listen to this. And when he put it forth, his own sheep, the fourth verse, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. The stranger voice, the stranger, and say, and a stranger, will they not follow, but free, flee from him, for they know not the voice of the strangers. Anybody following any strange thing? We're living in a strange time. We heard a whole lot of strange voices. I heard them too. And they sound good. Yeah. They look good. Yeah. Y'all might as well come on go ahead. You need to hang your head down some <laughs> we, we do some strange stuff now. And claim that we got the gift. Amen. If you got the gift, then you ought to be able to be killed. Amen. The Holy Spirit is a keeper. Amen. Then you ought to be able to be killed. Amen. You know what happened? You were following a strange void. Get back in the sheep for That's all you got to do. Get up and start following Jesus the Christ. Amen. 
He says, this prayer will speak Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things which were he spake unto them. And they said, Jesus, then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. He, clar he clarified it for me. Then he said, All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If any man enters in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief coming not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. My brothers and sisters in my closes, I want you to understand that you got to follow Jesus. You're going to have to get up out of that flesh. And you're going to have to do what God tells you to do. You're going to have to have a deaf ear to the world, to the things of the world. You're going to have to have a deaf ear to that stranger that's speaking to you by the wayside, telling you you're not saved. You're in the wrong place. You are saved by God's grace through the blood of Jesus. There's no other that can save you. You don't have to run from place to place. You can get it from Jesus, our Lord and Savior. You don't have to go over to Hinduism or Buddhism or, or whatever ism you're trying to get. You can get it from Jesus the Christ right where you are. You ain't got to call mama. You ain't got to call daddy. You can call on the name of the Lord for yourself. Somebody ought to say, Jesus, there's no other name that I know but Jesus. Jesus is the one that makes the enemy free. Jesus is the one that opened up the blinded eyes. Jesus is the one that cleans the lepers. Jesus is the one that cast out the foul spirit. Jesus is the one that got up from the dead. Back there, well, that's the father we can take. If you ain't no memo, you can't even bury you back there now. 